Today is one of those horrible days. To start, it's a Monday, which does me no favors. Second, it's April Fool's Day, which means I can't even trust the usual gaming news sites without getting jerked around. And on top of that, it's the first day of baseball season, which would be awesome if, you know, my team wasn't solidly in the running for a 21st consecutive losing season. Derek's the optimist. I just can't shake the vision that burned into eight-year-old TJ's eyes of Sid Bream's freaking mustache crossing home plate in Game 7 of the 92 NLCS. So screw it. Actual baseball can go take a powder. Here's Doraki no Kusayaku, brought to you by Coca-Cola, and High C, and Sprite, and Fanta, and a couple other weird drinks we've never even heard of here in the States, like Aquarius or some crap. And each of those beverages commands a team of animals. They're all playing baseball. I don't make the rules, I just play the game, and Doraki no Kusayaku plays like... Well, it plays like a sound of cartoony baseball game. You're not gonna get the deep statistical gameplay of a Power Pro game here. There are no visibly larger hitboxes for an Ichiro, for example. But the control's tight and responsive once you get it down. Did I mention that your commentators for this game are a monkey and a koala rocking awesome suits? Yeah, it's that kind of game. Just enough solid baseball gameplay for me to feel comfortable playing it on opening day, but no actual connection to reality aside from choice of beverage. But real baseball doesn't feature a dopey seal holding his bat the wrong way around, or home runs hit so hard that Mars, yes the planet, picks up and leaves because you're being jerks and you keep hitting him. Meanies. But despite the abject strangeness of the game, it does a fine job of being serious baseball if you care to treat it as such. You've even got more advanced options like moving your outfielders or, well, unloading strange ultra pitches to throw everything but the kitchen sink at your opponent. And should you care to enrich the maddening experience, there's even an RPG mode where you can improve each team's stats as managed by a password system. There are even in-game batting cages and fielding practice to help you get the nuts and bolts of the game's mechanics down. But that doesn't really help with base running where the controls are still a bit confusing. This isn't real baseball by a long shot, it is at best a coke ad in the form of a sporting event, but it is an enjoyable baseball-like substance. And frankly, that's as good as we've had in this town for some time now. now. Stop interrupting my hockey season. 